upside down, inside out, and backwards. Hardly sounds like a logical setup for your video game controller. So why is this the default controller setup of the human brain? If eyes are the windows to our soul, let's follow that route to understand consciousness better. Light is electromagnetic in nature, which is good because based on the work of Manya Long, consciousness is also electromagnetic in nature. This is perhaps why as much as 70% of our sensory input comes from sight. It is direct interaction with the electromagnetic wave called light. When the electromagnetic particle of light reaches the human eyeball, the image is flipped upside down. The first important note is that the flipping of this image is a hardwired design. Nature chose a design that inverts the image before the signal is sent to the occipital lobe. Researchers believe that once this image reaches the occipital lobe, the brain turns the image back over for proper perspective. In theory. Unlike the lens effect, we cannot confirm the brain turns the image over. Our perception is that the image is turned upright. I contend the image is in the right orientation for the consciousness to perceive it correctly, which is upside down. Once turned upside down and put into an electrical signal, it is sent to be interpreted by the opposite hemisphere. We might term this as inside out, as the left goes right and right goes left. The signal finishes in the back of the brain, indicating that the interaction is not only upside down and inside out, but backwards. I mean, it's literally in the very back. I can throw some eyeballs on it if it helps. And as most are aware, when the consciousness responds, it is the left side of the brain that controls the right side of the body, and the right side of the brain that controls the left side of the body, indicating that the consciousness responds from such an inverted position as well. Our bodies reside in a physical world. Our consciousness resides in a non-physical world. This dualism is perhaps the best way to continue describing the facets of consciousness. This dualism is found in the opening lines of the Tablet of Hermes, which describes the two states, which are the same, but opposite, working together. That which is above is as that which is below, and that which is below is as that which is above, for the performance of the miracles of the one thing. If I might be so bold as to suggest, the one thing is love. Like, share, comment, and please subscribe. Peace.